Swick, Hardy, Couture, Vera, UFC 105. Check your local listings. November 14th, UFC 105. We're back in Manchester, England. Last time we were there, the place was packed, rocking, sold out. Same thing this time. We put together a great card. Dan Hardy versus Mike Swick. Dennis Kang versus Michael Bisbing. And Randy Couture versus Brandon Vera. I expect nothing less than fireworks for this fight. Vera's going to come out and try to make a statement and put Randy away. Randy's going to do the same thing with Vera. You never know when you're going to see the last Randy Couture fight. He's a real freak of nature. I mean, it's really kind of incredible that he's able to compete with such young, tough, aggressive guys at 46 years of age. I mean, there's no one like that guy. I absolutely still feel like I'm the best fighter I've ever been right now. Randy Couture is great in the clinch. He uses his dirty boxing very well. His stand-up has improved big time. And obviously, everybody knows what happens if Randy Couture gets you on the ground. He's going to smash you. This is how Couture has done it so many times. He's getting overwhelmed here. It's an idiot. It's been in 30 plus years as a wrestler, it's still the basis for my fighting style. And it doesn't matter how much time and how good I get at submission or how good my striking is, I still need to go back to, and, and make those people that I compete against wrestle me. Randy's so mentally tough, but how much punishment can his body take before he starts to break down? I just need to train hard, continue to do what I've been doing, which is progress and get better as a fighter and go out and let it hang out there again. Randy Couture is, without a doubt, one of the greatest mixed martial arts fighters to ever compete in a sport. Randy Couture is now back where I think he belongs, at 205 pounds. A victory over Randy Couture would be gigantic for Brandon Vera's career. This is it, Brandon. This is what we've been training for since day one. This is why we became a fighter. This is the fight for Vera that puts Vera back in the mix, back as one of the top fighters in the world. Brandon Vera is one of the top guys at 205 pounds, in my opinion. He's very dangerous. He has world-class jiu-jitsu skills, world-class striking, excellent Muay Thai. His wrestling is excellent. He's got a great ground game, and he's a far younger guy. Right now, the best guy in the weight class is Leota Machida, and Brandon is, is definitely a step in that direction. To be the man, you got to beat the man. In order to win, you have to go out and kind of impose your will and keep the fight in the areas that, that, that you think give you the best chance of winning. i got to figure out how to solve the equation. I want to push the pace right along with them and see who crumbles first. All great things must come to an end. It's time to let the world see. It's time to let everybody know. Good body kick by Brandon Vera. I'm here. I've arrived. Ty Clinch wants the lead. And I'm ready to start doing big things. Michael Bisping versus Dennis Kang is a big fight for both guys. Michael Bisping, obviously the winner of season three of The Ultimate Fighter. Michael the Count Bisping! Bisping's good in a stand-up. He can box, he can bang, his kicks are great. He's great on the ground with his jiu-jitsu. He's, he's a very well-rounded fighter. Always comes in in incredible shape. He pushes a tremendous pace. He's very aggressive. He's one of those guys that is uh, very athletic. This kid was on a tear, becomes huge in England, kept growing and getting to that next level. Then he bumps into Dan Henderson. What can I say? I got caught. A lot of people get caught, and it's, it, it, that's the way mixed martial arts is. This is the fight we're going to find out what Michael Bisping made of. Is he going to jump back on track 
and get back to his winning ways, put that fight behind him and build off it and learn from it. I think Michael Bisping is going to come away from that fight a better fighter. He will be better because of it. This is a big, big fight for Mike. I'm embarrassed. I'm pissed off. I need to win. I need to win impressively. He has beaten some very, very tough guys, fought some very good guys. I'm 17 and 2. You know, in the UFC, I fought some good fighters. You know, I fought Rashard Evans, Matt Hamill, Eric Schaefer, Chris Levin, Dan Anderson. You know, the list goes on. It's a very big chance for him because he's coming in against a dangerous guy who doesn't have the biggest name in the UFC. I've lost a bit of respect in the fighting world, so I want to take that respect back. And first thing on the list is beat up Dennis Kang. I'm ready to kill. Dennis Kang has a ton of experience. I mean, the guy's 32 years old, and he's got 46 fights. Dennis Kang is a very big name internationally, but in the UFC, fans don't know him that much. They know he's got a victory over Professor X. A lot of hype around Professor X and his striking and everything else, and uh, Dennis Kang ends up winning that fight. He was a huge star in Japan and Korea. It was a big deal to have him come over to add more excitement to the 185-pound division. Not a lot of UFC fans do know about me. I feel like I really need to, to introduce myself with the right fight. Dennis Kang trains at American Top Team, which is one of the very best camps in the world, with so many top fighters to train with. I have no distractions here. I'm training training and, and then training some more. He has been known internationally as being one of the very best 185 pound fighters in the world. I hope that he thinks I'm not a big name and, and that he takes me lightly, you know, because he's going to have a big surprise. Hey, you know, it's his mistake if he does it and he's going to have to pay for it. I'm going to go out and fight like a madman and I'm going to take it to him. My advantage is that I can do everything better than him. Is his chin going to be rested enough after such a devastating knockout? I'm going to be testing it. I want to be the best. I want to get up there and climb the ladder, and a win over him is definitely a good stepping stone for me. I want to destroy him. He better train hard, because I'm coming at him 100%. Mike Swick, Dan Hardy, both guys are gunners. Both guys are never in boring fights. This fight should be a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Time. Mike Swick, he gets you hurt, he swarms on you. The dude is like a shark. This last fight with Ben Saunders, perfect example of that. Swick absolutely destroyed Ben Saunders. Caught Ben Saunders with one shot and just dumped on him. Down goes Saunders! Oh, Saunders Swick in the finish! And it is all over! Wow. Mike! Quick! Swick! Quick Swick, he knocks people out fast, he hits hard. This is Mike Swick's time right here. For Dan Hardy, to beat Mike Swick would be huge. This kid, since he's coming to the UFC, has been on a tear. Just knocked off a, a real, real tough guy in Marcus Davis. Oh, he's hurt! Davis back. is down! Hardy looking to finish. He caught him with a big knee. Dan Hardy's a cocky, young, up-and-coming kid. Dan Hardy can put guys away with one shot. Hardy already had very good hands, and now that he's been working with Freddie Roach, he's really learning the finer points of boxing. If he connects with one of those shots, anybody can go, including Mike Swick. Dan Hardy's stepping up big time. You know, he's stepping into the deepest end of the pool. Mike Swick believes this is his time. He wants a shot at the title. He wants to be the champion. If Dan Hardy can get past him, it will be huge. He's a two-time light heavyweight champion. If another run at the 205-pound title is what he wants, Randy Couture must first face the truth. Muay Thai wrecking machine, Brandon, the truth, Vera. Plus, welterweights Mike Swick and Dan Hardy face off for a shot at George St. Pierre's championship belt. And Michael Bisping battles pride superstar Dennis Kang. The Ultimate Fighting Championship presents UFC 105. Live Saturday, November 14th, only on ESPN.